How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and today I want to quickly show you how to turn the water off out at the curb. So this is the valve which would be right after the water main and then that will control the water coming into your house. Then you have a main water shutoff like this one behind me. That's what we shut off if we have a water leak inside the house or we're changing out any fixtures or any problems in the house. You need to know where the water shutoff valve is and how to quickly turn that off just to reduce the chances of any damage in your house from water. But in instances such as I have behind me, I have a water shutoff valve that I need to service and I need to replace the seals because it's leaking. Well, this is the main valve coming in your house, right? So how do you shut the water off to that? In every city, it's a little different, but there's going to be a valve out towards the curb and close to the street, usually between the street and the sidewalk. There are a few different types. The one that I have is actually a circular lid that services two houses, so it is on the larger side. And it has a pentagon, which is actually the key that you need to rotate to unlock that lid to access the valve itself. Now there are specialty keys to easily help you access this, but if you only do this every so often like I do, to be honest, a pair of vice grips for this specific type will work just fine. So usually you only need to rotate that 90 degrees to get the lid to unlatch so you can pick it up. Now be careful because pretty much all cities now have switched over from a manual meter and reading to an electronic reading. So there's probably some type of wires and hardware underneath that lid. So be careful so you don't damage that. But you'll take the lid off and set it off to the side. Now you will need one specialty tool, which vice grips or a crescent wrench are probably not gonna do it for you. And that is a water shut off curb key there's a few different names for it, but that's what it is. It's a large T handle with a U-shaped fitting on the bottom. And that allows you to access the valve that's usually deep in the ground. Again, sometimes that's only 12 inches, but here in the Midwest, it's usually about three foot down, which is where that frost line is gonna be. So you can access it down and quickly rotate 90 or 180, depending on what valve you have. But that's all you need to do. You just need to rotate that valve and then that's going to shut off the water coming into your house and then you can service that main water shut off or if you have an emergency and you can just really cut the water and not have any issues. Hopefully that helped you out. It's overall easy, especially once you see it done once and often the hardest part is finding the actual lid so you can get access to the valve. Remember, between the sidewalk and curb is the most common and that's probably where you're gonna find it. And maybe you'll find it in a small hole with a bunch of leaves kind of covering it up because it hasn't been accessed in years. But before you take off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have weekly videos coming out to help you with your repairs and improvements around the house. And we're gonna catch you on the next one. Take care.